McDonald's Changeables, potentially the most iconic Happy Meal toys. There is an insane, universal love for these goofy little fellas, and I share the feeling. These greasy robots were available with Happy Meals in 1987, 1989, and 1990. 1998 was a hard time for the Changeables fandom. I feel like Changeables are so iconic because the idea of a Big Mac turning into a robot is just funny. In a lot of ways, these Happy Meal toys were the blueprint for BotBots, a line of small transformers that turned into pretty much any household object or food item. The 1987 wave of Changeables featured six robots that turned into iconic McDonald's items like the Big Mac and their classic fries. The robots' faces look like they're in pain. I guess life isn't easy as a sentient cheeseburger. The first set of changeables is really charming because they just did not try with the names. This man's name is Big Mac. Oh, well, actually that works as a name. This man's name is Large Fries. That's like naming your dog, Dog. In 1989, the second wave of changeables was released, with Big Mac and Large Fries being reborn as Macro Mac and Fry Force. Macro Mac is unironically a downgrade for a name, but anyways. The second wave featured the two repaints and six more robot restaurant items. My favorite from this set is Frybot, representing a McDonald's small fry, at the time anyway. This guy has a hinged jaw that can do a jump scare face which is funny. Finally, in 1990, McDonald's dropped a banger wave of toys called the McDino Changeables. Instead of depressed looking robots, these burgers turned into dang old dinosaurs. These terrible lizards aren't terrible at all. These dinosaurs were super cartoony and they feel like they could be Flintstones tie-in toys. I never see super goofy dinosaurs like this anymore. We've truly lost our way as a culture. I love so many of these dinosaur ones. My faves are the Happy Meal Odon and the Quarter Pounder with Cheese Osaurus. I can see they stopped trying with the names again. I feel like they stopped making these because they started making official Transformers Happy Meal toys. But I think the world is ready for the changeables to return. Or better yet, make a Big Mac that transforms into Optimus Prime. Cowards. What's good, internet? It's your boy Jake here, dumb as ever, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about Happy Meal toys that can transform. We're gonna be talking about the McDonald's changeables, and we're gonna be talking about the Transformers branded Happy Meal toys. We're gonna cover both in this video. As always, my videos are not complete lists, so if you think I missed any epic Happy Meal Transformers, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to keep algae rhythm off my back. And if you'd like to support the channel more, please consider becoming a channel member. You get access to a members only Discord server and early access to new videos. Also, one more thing. If you'd like to see more frequent videos from me, please check out my second channel, Smart Jake. I do news, unboxings, toy hunts, and more over there. So if you're interested in that type of content, Check it out. The Transformers McDonald's toy saga actually begins in the Beast Wars era, with the first set being released in 1996, the year I was born, yay! The first wave consisted of four toys, two Maximals and two Predacons. These super simple Transformers were simply named after the animal they turned into, like Rhino or Manta Ray. To me, Beetle is the most iconic of the group, probably because I had one as a kid. I have no idea how I got it since I was literally zero years old when Beetle came out. I'm assuming my mom found it at a thrift store at some point, but who knows? I don't really remember receiving toys at a young age, just playing with them. In 1998, there was a second Beast Wars promotion, this time the transmetal versions of Dinobot, Black Arachnia, and Scorponok. Funny enough, these three characters in particular particular did not have transmetal versions in the cartoon, so I'm not sure why they chose these characters, but it's a fun fact regardless. Black Arachnia looks like a beetle remold, which is fun, and Dinobot is easily the coolest with his raptor mode and cool blue colors. To be fair, Dinobot is always the coolest. Finally, in Y2K, we got the Beast Machines line of Happy Meal toys. Everybody's favorite, right? I actually think these are the coolest set out of the bunch, mostly because they are based on actual characters that appeared in the cartoon. Black Arachnia is probably the roughest looking one. Her spider mode looks painful. Rat Trap is one of my favorites because his Beast Machines design is translated very well. Mileage may vary on how you feel about Rat Trap's Beast Machines design, but I actually like it a lot. This Beast Wars era was 
a great start to the Happy Meal Transformers, but we're about to get into real nostalgia territory. Just two years later, McDonald's would grace us with the Transformers Armada Happy Meal line of toys. The 2001 to 2005 era of McDonald's Happy Meal toys is definitely my sweet spot for nostalgia, and the Transformers Armada toys are at the peak of it. These Transformers are so goofy, I love them! The line featured four Autobots. Optimus, Hotshot, Red Alert, and Smokescreen, as well as four Decepticons, Megatron, Starscream, Cyclonus, and Demolisher. The two teams of Transformers could combine in different ways. The Autobots would form into a mighty robot, with two of the toys serving as feet, and Optimus standing on Hotshot's shoulders like he's head cheerleader. I feel like the mighty robot is supposed to be Optimus in his super mode, but maybe that's giving them too much credit. Alternatively, you could collect all four Decepticons and you could combine them into a mighty vehicle, which kind of just looks messy. Funny enough, Starscream is at the front of the mighty vehicle, not Megatron. Speaking of Starscream, he is essentially a G1 jump starter, meaning he has a pullback motor and auto transforms as he's driving forward, flipping onto his feet. The jump starters were ripped off a lot by knockoff companies, so it's funny to see McDonald's do the exact same thing. My favorite as a kid was Megatron, mostly because I like his tank mode and the translucent green plastic was just cool. I have core memories of being in my great grandma's van and asking her to ask the McDonald's employee for a different Happy Meal toy because I had gotten a second hotshot and really wanted Megatron. I don't know, maybe that's not super relevant, but that's a memory I really like and I wanted to share it with y'all. Is that so wrong? Is that so wrong? These guys may be the goats to me just due to nostalgia mostly, but I gotta admit they're still really charming in 2024. A new challenger is approaching. All hail the king, baby. In 2005, for some ungodly reason, Burger King obtained the Transformers license and were in charge of Happy Meal toys for the Transformers Cybertron show. I actually like Burger King as a fast food place more than most people, but they had absolutely no sauce when it came to Happy Meal toys. These figures were the first and only time Burger King attempted to make transforming robots because they suck. Megatron looks like an N64 game, polygonal jet in alt mode, and an Oompa Loompa in robot mode. Jetfire commits the cardinal sin of parts forming, which is not something that usually bothers me, but parts forming on a Happy Meal toy is such lazy engineering. Optimus Prime is probably the best out of the set. His transformation reminds me of a simplified version of his G1 transformation. Overall, this is a terrible set, but somehow it's better than what would come next. The first three Bayverse movies were advertising juggernauts, taking deals with hella brands, so of course they had kids meal tie-ins. Unfortunately, Burger King was the restaurant making the kids meals. The movie tie-ins were the beginning of the end for Happy Meal Transformers that actually transformed. Though we did get this funny commercial of Optimus ordering a Whopper. No cheese, no onions. Uh, Drive Burger King handled the kids' meals for the first three Transformers movies, and a lot of these toys do not transform. The 2007 movie line features a couple of figures that kind of change shape, but not really though. The toy for Ratchet is his vehicle mode that can open up, revealing a small plastic figure of Ratchet's robot mode, cheering for the Whopper Optimus Prime is picking him up. No cheese, no onions. The Optimus Prime of this set is easily the coolest. He's a big chunky truck, and when you use his pullback motor, the truck breaks apart revealing a kneeling Optimus. Kind of a cool idea and seems like something Hasbro would try as a gimmick line. Then we have 2009's Revenge of the Fallen line. Everybody loves Revenge of the Fallen, right? To be fair to Burger King, I think they cooked a little more here than the first movie, but still the lack of true transforming toys sucks. Instead, we got a paper-thin version of the Fallen that transforms into a Decepticon logo. Considering he doesn't even transform in the movie, I consider this alt mode for the Fallen just as canon as his jet mode. Megatron vaguely transforms from a tank to a robot, though he's kind of in like a centaur mode. For Devastator, you can take his limbs off and have them be little construction vehicles on their own, which is fun. Unfortunately, that just leaves you with the limbless body sections of Devastator, but in this line you'd take what you can get. Even with limbs, Devastator looks a bit gangly and weird. 
Dark of the Moon line of Burger King toys featured big-headed versions of the main characters in the movie that could store their small bodies inside the heads. I actually loved these as a stylization. Definitely has a Funko Pop vibe before Pops were even really relevant. The sculpting on these guys is also excellent, and it's just really cool to hold a highly detailed figure of Soundwave's big head. Most of them feature little lights or sounds. While these are not really Transformers, they're a good compromise thanks to excellent sculpting and approaching the line from a fun angle. I've said it before, but Transformers Animated is my favorite Transformers show by a lot. So it warms my heart to say that Transformers Animated did get a McDonald's toy line in 2008 with actual transforming figures. And to McDonald's credit, they knocked this set of six out of the park. Optimus is easily the best figure in the set, and if he had like one more point of articulation, he would legit just be a decent legend scale figure. Bumblebee and Ratchet are decent, with good vehicle modes and robot modes that just don't quite hit the mark. I will say I love Chonky Bumblebee, and Ratchet's anchor arms are cool too. Megatron and Starscream both suffer from their transformations being just lay them on their faces and move a couple things. Megatron is a little bit better to me, though I am probably biased because animated Megatron is my favorite. Lugnut is the only figure I had as a kid, and his transformation is thankfully more involved than Megatron and Starscream's. Though he's a little bit thinner than in the show, this Lugnut is certainly a glorious representation of the character for a McDonald's toy. For some for some reason, France of all places got an exclusive Blitzwing toy in their Happy Meals selection. This guy actually looks really good and his chonky tank mode is awesome. Sadly, this is the last line of Happy Meal Transformers that actually transform. While McDonald's still makes Happy Meal toys for Transformers, none of the toys to my knowledge have been transformable since animated. Since Prime, they've gotten into the habit of doing two toys for each character, one vehicle and one robot. This is obviously lazy, artificially inflates their lineup of figures, and is just boring. Happy Meal toys have gotten cheaper and cheaper over the years, and I know they don't really matter, but it kinda sucks to see, right? It feels unlikely we'll ever see truly transformable Happy Meal toys again, but I'll keep holding out hope because back in the day, I was loving them. Thanks for watching my video, please like and subscribe, and if you want to support me further, check the channel membership and subscribe to my second channel. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go get a little Caesars and relax. Peace!